What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. We are in the tree, as you can see, hanging from a saddle. In this video, I'm gonna show y'all exactly how I self-film from a saddle, how I have everything set up, how I have a tree laid out every time I go to a stand and uh, jump in the tree to start saddle hunting. I'm carrying all this gear with me and I wanna show y'all what I'm doing, a little bit behind the scenes, the process I do. Let's jump right into it. All right, so for the tree saddle that I'll be using, this is a Latitude Outdoors Method 2. And I have another video on this and I'll post right up here. And uh, this is an awesome saddle, super comfortable. I've hunted it all season long last year and it's just an awesome saddle. The two panel just makes it so much more comfortable. You can adjust it however you want. And uh, I really like this saddle. The platform that I'm using is a tethered Predator platform. This is the standard size uh, platform. Really like it, bomb proof. I powder coated it brown to make it look like a tree. It's nice. I have a fourth arrow tree arm and this is the tree arm that's designed for saddle hunting it's real short i can get all the way around the tree all the angles that i need underneath the bridge which is super nice even with the camera on here i can tuck it underneath the bridge of my tree saddle and it just gets the job done perfectly it's super lightweight it's not bulky like the muddy system this fourth arrow fits up real small into the backpack and it's just nice so for my gear strap i have a tethered gear strap and uh, I have a hero clip hanging with my bow on my left side. I like my bow on the left side. I'm a right hand shooter. I can have an arrow knocked up ready to go. Grab that sucker, get whatever's on, get the game on camera right here, pull the bow up, and shoot. It's money. On the other side of the tree, which you can't see right now, I have my backpack and it's just hanging from the tag end of the group, the gear strap. This is an awesome setup, super simple. I just, I like simplicity on this thing, especially when you're mobile bouncing around everything just fits back into the backpack exactly how you took it out and uh, it's just a super nice system so for my method of climbing I have several locations already pre-planned with sticks in the tree so when I get there all I gotta do is get up the tree throw my tether around the tree and get my saddle ready to go super simple if I want to be mobile I one stick so I have an extra stick that I designed for one stick and it's got an aider on it I can one stick up a tree anywhere I want to pretty much and uh, it's awesome little system that I've got going on I carry 40 foot of rope with me so I can rappel back down the tree when I'm one sticking and it's just an awesome system so this is a saddle the platform the, the whole tree setup so now let's jump into the camera gear all right so I got the camera on the camera arm and this is like the setup that you'll be seeing for me talking from the tree I had the camera right here to my left side right now Right beside my bow, I can grab my bow over the camera, no problem. I have my camera arm set up where it's just low enough where my cams aren't gonna hit it. Nothing like that. I'll show y'all what you're looking at. So this is the setup. I got the camera right there. I got the bow on the tree. I have my GoPro right here above me, facing right at me. So I get that awesome little shot. And then to my right side, I have my backpack. This is the Sitka, I think it's a toolbox, tool belt, something like that. It's a dump style pouch. All the way down you can see I don't have much in there right now but I can fit all my gear inside that backpack and it is awesome so I just have it hanging from the tag in of my gear strap as you can see right there I have my bow right here on the hero clip and I just have it hooked to my quiver because I like to shoot with the quiver on and uh, I practice with the quiver on because you never know if you're bouncing around and you need to make the shot with the quiver on uh, that's how I practice so that's what I do and, uh, but I'm also capable of shooting without the quiver on, so sometimes I'll take my quiver off and put it in the backpack. All right, so for the camera that I'll be using, this is the new Sony a7 IV. This is an awesome camera. It's a full frame camera. Super, super awesome. Great in low light conditions. I can use an S-Log3 and get awesome footage. I can do slow motion, all that good stuff. The Sony a7 IV is an awesome camera. I'm so glad I upgraded to it. As you can see, I'm also using my iPhone 13 X or whatever it's called I'm not sure it's a 13 really good quality also with the iPhone sometimes I'll just get those walking b-roll shots with my iPhone and you can't even tell that it's not that really expensive camera my third angle I have a GoPro Hero 8 just facing right at me and that sucker is perfect for getting that third angle shot of me behind the scenes when I have the big camera on the animal I get the GoPro get the footage of me drawing and all that good stuff it is awesome another thing that I'm thinking about doing is taking this iPhone and getting a iPhone mount that I can have it facing me because I think the iPhone camera is better than the GoPro now I don't have the newest GoPro but I do think this new iPhone camera is just top-notch I think the new 
uh, iPhone 14 has a 48 megapixel camera or something like that, which is un which is crazy. This Sony has a 48 megapixel camera uh, sensor, and that's just unreal that a phone's got the same sensor. But anyways, you get what you pay for. Awesome. This is the setup that I have for this year. I rocked this setup last year, and it was awesome for me. And it's just something that I've dialed in, got everything perfect, like got my pouches ready got my backpack set up all the stuff in the pouches that I need easy access it's awesome so that's how I'm setting up my tree for the 2022 hunting season I have it dialed in it is perfect if you see this gear that you like I'll have a link in the description below of all the gear that I'm using and uh, if you found this video helpful please give it a like subscribe and follow along to see how the season goes and we'll catch you on the next video guys